chat so that everybody can um okay you can copy it from the chat put it there okay and somebody said sir put all this uh, links in one message yes so um what you can do is everyone can save the chat so when you save the chat all this will come in a notepad you know many people i think so they're not aware there are three horizontal dots when you click there it says save chat okay is it clear yes no no yes dr preethi Javla, Dr. Preeti Javla, can you unmute? Are you getting the option to unmute? Preeti Javla, she was requesting for it. So all of you can quickly go. Hello. Yes, Dr. Hello. Preeti, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Namaskar, Namaskar. Where are you from? Please introduce us. Quick. Sir, Uttar Pradesh. Where is Uttar Pradesh? Where is your election? Where is your election? Where is your election? Sir, Greater Noida. हाँ विच सेक्टर इन ग्रेटर नोएडा इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स नहीं विच सेक्टर 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 ओके पी थ्री सेक्टर सर ओके विच कॉलेज आई टीचिंग सर आई एम टी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ओके सो देर आर थ्री डॉट्स इन द चैट डॉक्टर प्रीति या ओके सर ओके चैट सो गो टू योर चैट ज़ूम यू नो मेनी प Go okay. to the chat. Ah, uh, two, hai na, madam. Two, hai na, chat me. Everyone. Yes, sir. Everyone. Three dots, horizontal dots. Hey, I can't see three dots. Right me. More options hai. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll just say generally when you start you meet anything. Okay. I'll I'll maybe it's okay. Let me do everyone and everyone. I don't know whether. Are you able oh. to get three dots on the right? Anyway, it's okay. It's it's in the setting chat. So what happens is go to your settings and enable it in your Zoom, in your Zoom account. Enable it always. So there will be three dots. If you click that, ma'am, our entire chat, no, it will be saved in a notepad. Is that okay? Yeah. So even organizers can go. And uh, you know, enable <clears throat> this thing. All right, let's quickly go now to the demonstration. All right, give me a second. Where is the demonstration? Yeah, Dr. Preeti Jala, can you unmute? Can you please read what is there on the screen? Okay, sir. Wait, wait, wait. What 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 am I sharing on the screen? What is that? Storm board. Yeah, work, 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 be uh, work better together. Work better together. Okay. What is the other one? What is the what is written here? Uh, so use storm, storm board shared workplace to generate more ideas and then. Okay. That. Fine. Brainstorm meetings, everything. Okay. Yes. Now on the right hand top corner, there's something called sign up for free. Okay. Right hand top corner. Right hand top corner. Is it there, ma'am? Right hand top corner. Okay. Right hand top corner. Yes. Okay. Login. Okay. No, no. Login. Nahi. Well, uh, no. don't now. I'll just give the steps. Anyway, it's getting recorded in YouTube. You can go later. Okay. First okay. sign up. First sign up. Because I already signed up. Okay. I have an account. I'll go directly to my dashboard. I'll show you right how we are using Stormboard and how beautifully it'll help. Whether you're a mathematics teacher or whatever, okay. So can you see here? Take educator account in in Stormboard. Take educator account. Educator account means free, unlimited students, unlimited teachers. Even your students can. But you should use your official email ID. Is it okay? Everybody, type in the chat. Are you able to hear me? Quick, quick. I need to finish and give it to Dr. V Raja and coordinators. Dr. V Raja has joined. Please make him the co-host. All right. So uh, quickly tell me, uh, my dear friends, are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear? Yes. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So you see here, um, I have all my old stormboards. Okay. You can go there. 
create a storm board all right or join a storm board by your teachers if you go to this plus symbol all right create a storm board okay so i say ICT FDP sample 12 to 2022. Satya Bama Max DP2. Okay. And always take educator storm. Can somebody uh, see there and tell me educator account means is it limited or is it unlimited? Quickly go to the chat. Quick, quick, quick. See and tell me. There is unlimited. Thank you, Sharadhanan Babu. Yes. So unlimited. No, you can take n number of students, n number of students, right? You getting my point, everybody? Yes, no, no, yes. Okay, so choose it. You can either choose a template or basic form or whatever you want. Okay, so you see on the left, can you see, madam, how many templates are there? Basic templates, is it there, Dr. Priya? General yes. templates, metrics, shapes, icebreakers, design, brainstorming, ideation. Okay design thinking you management for business planning okay product planning hr leadership project management lean so many are there okay I, i'm just taking the brainstorming so i just want to do a small brainstorm okay i just want to take a very 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 basic um, template and i just say okay i want to choose this template okay so there is okay are you able to see ma'am step one step two step three okay yes, so I, you can always go here and always keep the name as a course name. Edit the section, okay? And say, you give the description. You, you, you're getting my point? Yeah. You tell what, what do you want here, you type here. Okay, so maybe um, you want to say it as a phase one. Okay, you want to give it as phase one. So uh, give the changes. And now stop one, okay? It has given phase one. So go there, customize everything what you want to customize, right? Everything, whatever you want to customize, you customize, okay? And when you customize whatever you want here, go, all right. Now let me do one thing, sample. This you can learn it later. Uh, let me do one thing. You see how I work on Stormboard with my students and it is stored. And in, in NAC and uh, this thing, you'll have something called, uh, I don't know whether you heard about it, digital assets proof digital assets what is the proof that you took class on so and so date what is the proof that people came together and discussed okay so down ma'am can you see invite users madam yes sir yes invite sir. Users. Invite to participate in this term yeah so then again it's very simple either you take copy of this invite it okay now i'm putting in the chat okay this is not just for quiz my dear friends it is so powerful tool, not just quiz. Okay. So quickly go there and click that link in the chat. Ma'am, take the link, put it in the YouTube also. All right. Take the link, put it in the YouTube also. Okay. Quickly join, please. Quickly join. All right. Now I can get to know how many people join, how many people didn't join. Okay. You see there, Sarad Babu and joined there. Okay. I, we can know, the teacher can know. Okay. So whoever joined, on the down, there's an add button, all right? Add content to this storm. Click that green button. Go to the right. There is yellow, pink, green. Take yellow stick on, come to number one and type your name and your college name. Quick, quick, quick. Take yellow color stick on, okay? Indira Johnson, thank you, you join. So as a teacher, I can see uh, manage storm users, okay? I can see Oh, four people, Sharad Babu joined, Harishri joined, and it will save everything, who joined, who started, who is active, who is not active. Okay, I can see Indira Johnson, Harishri, um, Sharad Babu, uh, and me. So if you have done, take a yellow color, all right, stick on, and go to one, okay, and stick it there. Type your name and type your college name. Let me see, means as a sample, are you able to do it or not? Then other group team, you can say, hey, take a pink color and go there, okay? So each one, if you take yellow color, just put it on the stick on in, 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 in one, in one, yeah? In phase one. Can you put a stick on with your name? Type your name and put there. I want to know whether you're able to do it or not, All right? You can do for two, you can do for three, you can add pages, you can delete, you can save, 
you can call other teachers okay see there indra ma'am thank you you have done a good job okay harishree please take it and put it there okay now i can i can i can individually communicate with this uh, students in the individual chat i can give comments i can push attachments reports pdfs docs however i want i can keep seeing okay can can any people take a green um uh, green now take a green one come to the second one and type what is your uh, goal for 2022 quick 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 what's the goal for 2022 okay so you see it's little challenge you know out of 300 people i can only see eight people including me right so uh, it is not easy it will take time to learn all right gautam mondol thank you for joining quick 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 take a green take a green stick on go to add take a green stick on and uh, go to minimize 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 take a green stick on go to second and type what is your 2022 uh, vision what is the goal for 2022 others can type in the chat so 2022 do this one participant wants you to guide guide him as to how to join sir i guess the participants are not very clear about it okay clear i can do one thing okay uh i am there is invite users ma'am down i took the link from here and i gave it in the chat ma'am zoom chat okay can you see the zoom chat i'm giving a link so many times ani 623 ma'am is the link there in the zoom chat download the app if they have a, they are using a mobile sir no 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 don't download anything okay okay right it opens in mobile it opens in yeah only okay. thing is later okay. later it is better to have a account mobile mein download kar lo ya to laptop mein rakh lo it's a, it's a web app is it okay ma'am but okay. if you have an uh, yeah so if you download it it's far good later on not now see in one hour we cannot boil the ocean yes this itself is a big thing i am i can bet you i can bet you i don't know whether any fdp has given you so many tools for free all right so my request is i'm folding my hands all right teach it to somebody all right teach it to somebody all right so yes you can try on your own and uh, it's not working otherwise i had to download it on mobile yes so for every problem there is a google matha you can quickly go there and if it's asking to download download it otherwise okay so good so you see there okay good somebody says anita is there you know you're a teacher okay anbu also says i want to be in a teacher okay i am stopping here ma'am okay because so uh, it's it's a very big thing you know we give 8 hours of training only on stormboard in our university one day fdp only on stormboard because different subjects can be done different teachers can do it so uh, i don't want to take very very much time i want to close here by asking one question on the chat everybody is doing videos right if your video is so big if you upload it it's not buffering fast in rural places so net is going to be a problem okay so how do you make your videos small how do you compress your videos with a free tool open source tool all right can you share a video on stormboard yes there are thousand videos on youtube all right okay so good so people are answering ma'am uh, let just show uh, audience a very good tool which will be useful ma'am am i on the screen there with google yes sir yes sir yes okay yes sir so remember hand brake you know when you drive car there's a hand brake you know when you drive bike there's a hand brake okay so uh, ma'am can you please read this what is this hand brake is it free is it paid it is a tool for converting video from nearly any format to a selection of modern widely supported codecs uh, free and open source it says sir yes no uh, free madam oc la kedukudu madam pokkadume illa hindi me bolna to pokkadume okay it's free and the beauty is whether you are using windows mac linux it doesn't matter so <clears throat> if you have a very big video download this in your system please avoid using mobiles for your technology classes and all this use desktop or a laptop all right to be uh, more active use desktop laptop avoid mobile mobile is only for talking and all the stuff but if you want to do big stuff go like this 
give your video, it will compress your video. It will make your video small, right? And short in size, and you can upload it easily. So handbrake.fr, right? Um, did, I, did I put that on the chat? Okay, yes, no, no, yes. Remind me, please. Did I put it on the chat? No? Is it put on the Zoom chat? No. Okay, are you getting now? Yes, no, no, yes. Can somebody type? Yes. So can somebody take it, put it on the YouTube, please? Because there are a lot of YouTube viewers. You should not disappoint them. Okay. All right. I'm putting for everybody. Can you see there? Yes. Okay. So last one, try if you can learn this. Okay. Again, an open source. Okay. OBS Studio. And this is again open source. It's not just for videos and all the stuff. You can do broadcasting. You know, a lot of channels use it. A lot of TV channels use it. Okay. And it's called obsproject.com. It's wonderful. It's free, totally free. That's why I'm telling you. All right. If you have budget, you can buy good ones. Nothing wrong. Even OBS is a very good one. All right. Um, you can use it for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. And it's for both for video recording, video editing, and video live streaming. All right. Ma'am, can you see here, ma'am? Free and open source for video recording and live streaming. So just see how you can link it uh, if you have YouTube, if you have Twitch. Okay, it's free, ma'am. Free and open source for recording and live streaming. So we saw recording, we saw how to shorten the videos, we saw how to live stream the videos, we saw how to collaborate, we saw, oh God, I don't know, whatever. Okay, now um, I thank all of you, all right, um, for being so active. Okay, maybe I'll come at the end, but uh, do good. We have all emails we'll share with your organizers and uh, we'll do the best. But uh, do your best. God will take care of the rest. It's a very old dialogue, right? Uh, my dialogue is do your best. God will do the rest. If you don't do your best, God will take rest. And that's the end of it, okay? So uh, Dr. Priya, uh, Dr. V. Raja has joined, I yes, guess. Sir. You Yes, sir. I'll just quickly introduce him to the uh, participants, sir, and then uh, I guess he can take okay, over. Please, I'll one line about it. Okay, Dr. Viraja, is your camera on? Hi, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Let me introduce hello. our guest speaker for uh, the next half of the session. He has completed his BSc Mathematics in Gandhi Gram Uni Rural University, an MSc, MPhil, PhD, and PGDCA in Pondicherry Central University. He was a university rank holder in MPhil. He has qualified for CSAR net set with outstanding performances. He has been awarded with UGC, BSR, GRF, and SRF. His research interests are majorly in graph theory and discrete mathematics. And he has published several research papers in international journals and has delivered more than 20 talks in various universities and colleges. Currently, he is working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics, VIT AP University, Amaravati. Participants, please join me in welcoming our resource person for the final day, Dr. V. Raja. Over to you, Professor. Thank you, ma'am. Raja, sir, can I tell one line about you, Raja, sir? <laughs> okay. Okay, so okay, sir. I really want to appreciate um, a, a person whom I've been closely watching, studied in Tamil medium, very rural place outside Dindigal. Everything scholarship and top, top, everything top. BSA topper, MSA math topper, MPhil topper, PhD topper and received grants, you know, coming from that kind of places and doing the best and getting into VIT and doing the best here with a lot of tools in mathematics, um, you know, it's a great thing. So uh, that's one thing which I want to tell, which most of them don't know, right? From a very humble background, very simple background, right? I met his father, mother, I was really shocked, right? His father used to make biryani. Uh, in shops and then, you know, give education, all right? So it's not an easy thing. Uh, sir, we are proud of you that you have come all the way from a very small village to a great uh, institute and doing, you know, great work. Okay, over to you, sir. Yes. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah, we can see the... <clears throat>
So by the time sir is doing up, uh, some people ask my email I've given, and uh, next week we are doing a very big mega one week program. Not we, like Satyabama, uh, some other institute, and maybe you can join where I'll be taking entire five days <clears throat> on many tools, you know, many open source tools, along with professors from IIM and IIT. Um, we'll share that link in your groups. Don't worry. So, so now uh, the PPT is there. Full screen mode, that option is okay. No problem. You just uh, um, come down on the right and you get it. Yeah, but otherwise it's clear. It's clear. You can go like this also. Okay, fine. Can you, can you try your F5 mode? I don't know what laptop. F5, F5 key. F5, try it go. See, my top of the laptop is no hidden by uh, okay, okay, sure. No, no, you just carry on, no problem. Yeah. Yes, sir. Carry on. It's fine. Yes, yes. I think it will. And if you want to okay. uh, yes, sir. No. To, it's full screen. Sir, if you want participants to keep answering, the chat is enabled, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sure. I'll just okay. No, first of all, I should thank the organizing committee for giving this opportunity and of course uh, Professor Samuel Jansen. So today's you know, title is Open Source Tools for Teaching Mathematics. As Sir mentioned, there are many tools are there for teaching, not only for mathematics, in any subject. Everything is almost all are free okay, with the limited access. We are not going to use the full things. So I'm going to mention here certain tools, you know, how they are going to be useful for a mathematics professor. In general, anyone can use, particularly you know, science background people, because these softwares based on computation and visualization. So even social science or humanities people also can use for visualizing the data. Okay. And before that, you know, now in almost all the colleges and universities still there, you know, it's running online. We are, we are teaching online more. Now I want to know how we are teaching in online, particularly mathematics. Anyone? Now how you are teaching in the sense, whether you are making PPTs, if you are, you know, Making PPT with uh, what software, whether PowerPoint or LaTeX, that I want to know. Sir, please, you know, chat, something comes, please, you know, can. Yeah, they are saying PDF, digital pad. Yeah, digital, digital pad, pad. pads are there. One yes. note. One note. Right. Yeah. Suppose you are using digital pad or the writing pad, digital writing pad, which software you are using, I want to know. One note Vacuum is fine. Board. Somebody saying Wacom board. Yeah, Wacom is the board logo brand name. Are the, the one which I'm using is this. Uh, no, but you can't, they can't see you. You are in the PPT mode. Okay, okay, that then it's fine. Last you can show. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'll show it. I'm using, board. I'm using the board Wake. Wacom mm -hmm. is there and uh, HP, many things. For writing too, someone mentioned OneNote is fine. The rest, anything else other than OneNote? PPT. Okay, okay fine. Jamboard. So who, what you said, sir? Exam? Jamboard. X O U R N A L. Yes, yes. So today I'm going to know, talk at the end the one which you said, no, sir, external. Yes. So I have now used almost all the open source uh, apps for writing with the digital pad. External mm -hmm. is the best, as of I know, and I have discussed with some of our uh, friends mm -hmm. across the states. So the best is external. I'll tell you what are the important advantages of using external over other apps, particularly for mathematics. mathematics. Yes, at the end, I'll give you the demo. And yes. before that, we'll go one by one. Yes. Okay. Right. Now, the outline of the talk is this. Advantages of using these tools. Okay. So what are the advantages? And what are the free mathematical softwares available? 
writing tool, as I mentioned, uh, OneNote and external, many things that are there, and the drawing tools. Oh, see, as you mentioned, ma'am ma mentioned, I'm background from the graph theory or discrete mathematics. We used to draw many graphs. Okay. So even other max people or uh, other stream people also, they need to draw figures by their own. There are many tools. Among that, the drawing tool, which I'm going to say, you know, LaTeX draw is free source. So that is the best. And as I said, I'll give you the demo of something. Okay. Now, the advantages of using this. So first, suppose you know you are using the traditional teaching methods, then over if you use the additional tools or softwares or a writing tool, then the student will feel that my teacher you know using modern tools. You, know, you may be at the age of 30 plus. But if you compare the student age, they are maximum 25, 23. Okay? So 30, 40, 50 at the age of, if you say a professor using this tool, then automatically the student will feel that, okay, my professor is you know, uh, coming parallel with me. Then they will uh, sit and listen in online. Okay? Something he will save the new softwares. And other than that, what they feel, okay, my professor is an updated. And we ourselves feel that, okay, See, I have attended one month program under Samuel Sir's uh, orientation. So we felt that you no, know, we learned many things within an one month. See, and uh, we see, I personally feel see, I'm you know, updating within this one and a half year. And the third one, visualization. What we mean by visualization? Suppose you know, we are solving problems in the class. Suppose we want to draw some or finding the uh, what uh, integral of a solid. So, you know, some object. Okay, in the books, they have given some equations. With the help of the equations, we'll uh, you know, use to find the limits. At the end, we'll find the, you know, the volume. There are very few professors, right? they use to draw the three dimensional object in a two dimensional plane, either it's a paper or the blackboard. Okay, so there are very few people because if you are, uh, you should be you know, good in geometry, then only you, know, you should be able to draw the Three dimensional object in a two dimensional plane. But if you are using softwares, okay, you can easily show them this is the object which we are going to find the triple integral or double integral. And then they'll come to know that, okay, this is the shape, then my limit should go from here to there. Then they will find the volume easily so that it will, you know, helping you. And verification. What do you mean by verification? Suppose you are using matrix. You want to find the determinant or anything, any operation on matrix. If you want to do, we can do by our own, okay, traditional way. But if you are using softwares like Scilab, just you enter the matrix, right? There are fixed commands, inbuilt commands are there. If you use, it will give you. If you want to find even a power, see, a is a three by three matrix. We want a power hundred. See how many operations you have to do. Instead, if you use this, and you can get. Suppose you give a matrix, ask him to find the determinant. Okay. See, since the, I am assuming that the audience, uh, most of the audience are max background or science background. Okay. So 80%, if you want, 80%. 80%, then it is fine. Yeah. If you want to find the determinant of a matrix, we know how to find manually. Suppose if you are using the apps, okay, of Scilab, if you are using, you can, can easily find. Suppose. I just, are you uh, the, there's only slide. Are you doing some demo? I don't know. Advantages. No, 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 sir. I'm okay, not okay. doing any demo. Only the slides. The thing is, you are doing some process. In between, you want to find the determinant. The determinant leads to the other process. For that, okay, if you know determinant is zero, then no need to go further. Suppose we are working on a particular case. Then if you are using the up softwares, then if you know easily the determinant is zero, then no need to go further. Okay. So that verification process we can do. There are many things, any computation, almost all the computations which we are doing in day-to-day -day life in the classrooms, all are you know, already programmed and kept it in the software, either MATLAB, Scilab, or Active, wherever. Okay. And at the end, as a faculty, as servants and almost all are working in a private institution, most probably in an engineering institution, so all depends on the student's feedback. There are some factors depends on the feedback. Okay. So if you use all these things, then students will, will give you a good feedback. Okay. Then your name will be, you know, you will be a familiar person in the college or you will be the top of the college. So that is the ultimate, no? 
if your student recognize your work then nothing that is more than enough so these are the advantages and see these are the advantages of my knowledge there may be many okay. and we will see the softwares one by one so here just i am giving the names of the softwares the almost all are known softwares to all the people but i'll give you the advantages and how one can use this for our purpose See, and we are not going to teach them a separate software course. We have our own course. In that particular course, how this software can be used. Okay. So that is the thing. So first, so R programming. So I hope you know most of the faculty might know R programming because nowadays everything is running with the help of R and Python. So the traditional languages C, C++, Java, and many things are there. In a bit sense, people might know many things. We know only these are the programming languages. But what is the advantage of using R or Python over other languages? Anyone? If you know, please. So not only for teaching, or teaching in mathematics or in classrooms, in general. Being user friendly. Yes. Mathematical so Yes, yes, sir. That, that is the one. Point. This is in even in programming language, for example, if you take C, we can do programming, we can do computations, that, uh, or we can write codes by our own. But the advantage of R over other programming languages. Sir, Kavita may have answered in the chat open source. Yes, it is open source. Very good. That is the first point. Other than that, advanced version of java um yeah that is okay no in what way it is advanced that yes, i yes yes the yes. automated search says data and analysis okay data analysis we can use oh how we can use this for data analysis i'll tell you see see i'm working here in vit ap university we have data analysis course okay bsc data science and msc data science for them how we are using this r that i'll tell you podcast the, the basic difference between this and the other except Python is you can write the program by your own, right? Like in C. You see, we almost all know C. So we have some syntax. If you want to use this, variable should be like this. Your data type should be this. Okay, one by one, there are certain rules. And then control systems, you have to use if and else like that. All the setup will work for R. Okay, it's more like C, but the additional advantage here is you can find the computation. So people might know MATLAB is not a free software; it's a paid software, and the amount is very huge. Okay, you know, a single person you cannot buy. Even universities are thinking whether how many users one can get like that. Okay, so there we can do computation. As I mentioned, if I give a matrix, I want the inverse of the matrix. I can find right. Just give the inputs. Of the matrix, just the operation INV, I think. In INV of A, if you just enter, it will print the inverse value or inverse of that matrix. Or if you put DET of A, determinant of A, it will give the matrix determinant. Okay, that you can do in MATLAB. The same thing you can do in R. Okay, so it is taking the properties of C as well as taking the properties of MATLAB. Not all, almost you know, 90% it takes. So it is you know, both. And this is one advantage. The other is, the other one, there are many inbuilt packages out there. Okay. So I'll tell you what are the packages. For example, since I'm from graph theory, many people are working in graph theory nowadays. So there is a package called iGraph. Okay. If you go there, what are the topics? Okay, our computations relevant to the graph theory, everything is listed there. No need to write that code by your own. It is already written. You can just use. Okay, for example, I'm giving an input as a matrix okay, of a graph. I want to know number of edges in the graph. How do I find? There is a no already a function inside the package I graph so that one can easily get the number of edges. There are many things. Okay. Fine. So, so that is the advantage. Many packages, like uh, I'll tell you this, the second package, I will see. 
there are many packages inside r the best packages so far is no sorry ggplot2 what is this ggplot2 is as someone mentioned in the chat as some professor mentioned data analysis we are going to use how one can use data analysis or data visualization okay this ggplot app is you no know, useful to clean your data you can clean and you can visualize the data okay for example uh, say i have a data of uh, the covid data of india from january 21 to december 31st 21 okay the entire year data okay i want to know which state is you know affected more more people affected or from which state the people are you know recovered if we want to know there are some fixed functions since it is a package it has its own functions inside if we do max min average mean there are many things if you click it will give you the count as well as the corresponding plot you will get okay so that is the advantage okay, if a max people it can be easy one can understood okay this is that then fine for example social science people if you want to do some computation they don't have any mathematical background but if you know this ggplot package and other than this one or two more packages it is done they can do their research work or research analysis with the help of r very simply okay so that is the more advantage even the management people can use this okay. so we have a plan from our university to conduct a such a things okay. anyone can work on this it will be you no know, nice platform to work for example my class okay i am taking statistics for that okay so if for suppose if i want to find uh, some distribution value of some fixed year for example binomial distributions n is something p is something what is the probability value of getting this so we have you know we know some formula and we know some procedure how to proceed this but if you know the package okay there are there is a package in r okay inside if you go and click there are list of functions related to only the distributions for each distribution what are the functions if you click that function enter 2 and 0.3 then it will give you the value so this is how one can show things and you can validate or verify okay yeah. so this is a more powerful tool okay and almost all the universities are running this course so we should be you now updated so how many of you familiar in r r programming in chat i want to know at least out of 100 faculty for max yes fine you want to get a few okay see it's our programming is like as i said it's a kind of ocean we are not see inbuilt packages itself more than you know 500 so fine no they still people are updating but the thing is what kind of package is needed for your purpose so i am working in a management area so for that what is relevant package okay, that we need to search okay, so i am using i want to use this what is the relevant package then you understand only that package and basic thing uh, for example how to install this how to open this what is r studio or what is you know r console that is more than enough it's kind of you no know, basic software inside you have to work one or two videos if you see that is more than enough and then you can work your own problems okay as of now i am using only the igraph package and the ggplot2 and some relevant packages data cleaning because uh, we are working in data science area so we should know how to clean the data how to manipulate the data okay nowadays everywhere you know data science will come and present either you know you are from computer science or mathematics or management or any social science everywhere data is there right so we should know this software okay and you can use for verification also as i said one can do computation also using r right next python r and you know, python there is a debate okay one can see every day people used to say python is good or r is good okay but while writing programs you know compared to r python you know it is structure based but computation wise there are less so okay, compared to r if okay, suppose r has 1000 computation things python have around 700 to 800 roughly speaking okay the percentage wise it is 70 that is correct 
but there are rich number of packages are there in python okay so we should know both python as well as r okay basic things if you know any programming language c or c++ then it is easy all the you know the new coming softwares it is not new it is old but recently people are using everything is you know based sitting on the same pattern you know what is the syntax or what are variables data types same everything is same instead of you know small here you get a use capital that's the thing okay. so python is you no know, one such it has you know many apps so the one the first one is there you no know, networks network x those who are working in uh, social network problems okay one can use this you know this is for you know something relevant to your research also it will work okay so this is a packet igraph you can can use for class purpose classroom purpose also you can use or your research purpose also you can use this okay both and graph tool is a you no know, uh, other package this was uh, designed by a single person and updated you might know that we can use or we can prepare our own uh, package and upload in python so it is dynamic program one can update at any time okay. so these are the two main uh, programming com computation softwares we should know now how one can use this in class i already mentioned for example you are going for a calculus course okay so you want to show the diagrams of this or if you want to compute things for example double integral triple integral that we cannot you know compute in or as it is you need to write a program okay but visualization one can do how the graph looks like that you can do okay so how to compute things for that we need computational software what is scilab anybody using scilab anyone some of you chat right uh, yes okay kavita ma'am right why ma'am why you are using saila there should be some reason no dr anita also says yes 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 dr j anita yes ma'am Sir, you have to unmute yourself, sir. You are on mute. Yes, am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So what happened? Okay. So in the beginning, MATLAB came. No? That time the the cost is somehow less. Slowly, they have added many advantages inside, and the price was suddenly tight. Then all the academic people. Think that you know mainly who is using Scilab? Uh, academic institutions are using, and laboratories are using, and research people are using. Okay, mainly these people are using. If you buy you know lakhs and lakhs every year only for this MATLAB, you no, know, how much they can invest on this software? Then people you know always competition will be there. No, the Scilab is such such software. I think before Scilab, Active also there. Both I will come to see in uh, Active also. both active and scilab both are similar to matlab actually they are the alternatives for scilab okay whatever you are doing in uh, matlab almost 98 99 percentage you can do it in scilab and one more thing it is similar to matlab almost all the commands okay if you want to find the determinant of something in matlab what you are using the same thing will come in scilab okay basic structure syntax and functions okay all are similar to matlab it is you no know, kind of uh, competitor it is free source so we attended you know two three times workshop from uh, iit karakpur and iit bombay so there actually you know it is also a dynamic software one can design and upload things there they are working as a you know, group of researchers they are doing and developing scilab particularly from IIT Bombay and Kharagpur 
and they suggest that okay they you know selectively uh, collected faculty from across the country they gave a training the purpose is this don't buy matlab okay you learn scilab and teach scilab to your faculty so that your institute no need to buy matlab so that is the goal okay of iit people okay, in iits i hope uh, very few people are using matlab nowadays they are using scilab so i know because i hear this from a senior professor from iit karakpur and iit bombay okay slowly they are you know, going to use full fledged scilab okay so here in scilab you can use any computations okay you can give data visualization see this is here we are seeing you no know, 3d object okay so this is actually a surface okay we know the surface equation but how it looks like we don't see suppose you take a bed sheet and you tilt it in this space okay every every second or microsecond the shape is changing no each one define a surface equation but how it looks like we don't know but they know this they have written a code okay then while solving a for example this a calculus course as i mentioned we are going to teach a uh, double integral or triple integral if you go along with matlab nowadays in most of the colleges at least one or two classrooms they are having uh, this uh, projector right you go and give some demos so you give some inputs of some surfaces okay our 3d solid object 3d hollow object how it looks like then they will get a feel that okay this is my object from the floor how i can find the value okay where the peak points are coming local maxima local minima or how we are getting saddle point how the curve or surface is you know moving from one place to other place see if they visualize this then they can find see you are showing this see here the red one peak is there here one peak and here one peak okay and inside you see there is a no something is there no then that we can find see actually we need to find the points for each one how many local maximum points are there if you visualize this then they will satisfy okay i have find three here also three it's done then for the other problem they don't need to see they will find themselves and they think that okay that may be the reason we are having this that advantages you can have in any university or iit not all professors are same right there are some set of professors they are you know, getting good feedbacks because they have something in them so we should get you no know, we should move towards this area then will be the known person in the university okay. so that is the point and the you know, also the same okay this is all related to application oriented for engineering faculty so though i am an engineering faculty the institute where i studied you know pandicherry university is mainly famous for pure mathematics if you take any scholar from there they are good in pure maths so there are softwares which are useful to compute uh, pure mathematics also that we'll discuss later the next before this what is geogebra geometry and algebra this is you know suitable more like for school students or uh, in the beginning uh, slow level uh, or the entry level college students not for higher levels there is no computation here okay so here we can give the geometrical shapes it is free see yeah. the softwares which i am mentioning all are free source softwares here yeah, the title is free no therefore i have collected only free so geometrical things one can give visualization and basic algebra okay for example uh, we are using uh, we want to solve some equations how we can solve or if you want to solve some linear equations how one can solve a single equation we want to find the rules how one can find there are many fundamental mathematical calculations were there that can be done with the help of this what is there yes any soft is doubly mean software for graph drawing yes what is this mandal sir gautam mandal sir they are asking if there is any software for graph we can tell it at the end yes yes i will come at the end yes okay fine so the geogebra is you know mainly for school students school in the sense higher a 10th plus 1 plus 2 students they should know see this and as i mentioned they are going towards the pure mathematics 
computational and commutative algebra. How many of you know the term commutative algebra? I want to know, really, I want to know this. How many of you know commutative algebra? There is a branch of mathematics. Anyone? Yes. 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 So this is an advanced course you know, over algebra. So if you want to count, the, the terms will be ideals, are primary ideals, prime ideals, modules, prime submodules. There are many terms are there. It is pure abstract. People who come from uh, MSc, you know that while dealing with the algebra, basic algebra, groups, rings, we don't have any structure. We know only the axioms. With the help of the axioms and properties, we are you know, slowly building some structures. All of a sudden, See, nowadays, everywhere it is computation, no? If you simply find uh, pure research, nobody will give some interest. You need to justify that I have something related to computation in this. Then how do I compute this? Okay. For that, there are some softwares. This is one such. For computed algebra, one can use. And uh, there is a term called a permutation group. Okay. So how many of you know permutation group? Permutation groups. See, those who are working in arts and science colleges for BSc mathematics, MSc mathematics teaching faculty, they might know permutation groups in group theory. Okay, so there, there is a term. Okay. Yes. Yes. You know. Suppose I take S10. S10 is a group of permutation on 10 symbols. There are some elements of order something something. Okay, I want to know the number of elements of order 15 in S10. I want to know this. Okay. There is no exact formula. Exact formula. There are many ways to find, but they have given some computation. So you give any k, any n, it will give you the number of elements of order k in S10. So that is the most needed one for pure mathematics people. So there are softwares, they can do this. And for number theory, there's a separate software. So number theory related questions are uh, the things you can solve with the help of that. Okay, that is fine. And same math is, you know, actually now, it's a collection of softwares. There are three, four softwares, okay? Combined to build SIGMAT. Here we can do basic computations. So this is not like uh, Scilab. Scilab one can use their higher level things, you know. Here we can do basic to higher level, anything. Because it is a uh, union of many simple, simple softwares. So one can use you know, Sigma. And given at the end, the software list and their uh, page, how one can download and do things. And this is external. I heard someone is using external, no? Who, who is using external? I'll uh, no, this is, I hope this is the time for the demo. Okay. So just a five minutes demo for the time that 7.18, I'll try to finish before 7.30. Okay. So, Dr. Seba Silva says he's using, sir. Ah, yes. Okay, no share. Yes. You see the screen, white screen? Huh? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So this is the typical page of external. Okay. So here, the advantage, you know, what I personally feel, we are from Max background. First thing, one can upload P PDFs. So you can open any file. Open can go here, for example, how this, okay. see how it looks like. The PPT is you know, prepared with the help of LaTeX and I'm teaching my students, this is yesterday's class. Okay, so you can see, you see this, how it is, how it looks like. So one can write 
on this with so many colors are available here and any power you know pdf file you can use and in the background you are seeing you know i have used one note also okay and notepad everything this is you no know, little it's not pure white okay it's more like uh, if you see australian test players jersey okay it's not looking like uh, pure white like indian players okay that color is this if you write green red and some dark colors it will be more visible towards the students and one more thing here you know, this is the card the new page here if you go you no know, journal to so paper background you can plain or ruled you can change you know whatever you want okay so this option is there and the best is shape recognition so what is this suppose you see i will draw like this this looks like a circle but automatically it will become a circle okay if you draw a straight line okay there are ups and downs but it looks like a straight line see this is an additional advantage and here there are many options if you want to draw a rectangle see i want to find things you also show them the graph <coughs> graph sir? page yeah yeah i will show so here this 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 is what you want to sir or something else so page you can know sir i didn't get no many will be teaching graph theory some people asked in the chat yeah yeah so that that i will show you the like here see even though i am from graph theory i don't use ppt for graph theory course since i have this app i can write any graph by my own see for example that see right here deleting there are many options standard means suppose you click standard you can go one by one suppose at a stroke tell it stroke if you touch it will go there are many options so graph drawing you know it is see every time if you want to write you click other options and then you should come and pick this pen this green color pen on the top left okay so this you can color what personally i believe is if i go with the ppt in class students will feel that okay this guy is you not know, going to teach only this fixed material okay and so suppose if this is my graph i have already drawn and set it then my mind is you know, always fixed with this graph only okay c4 is there i need to teach only this this but if i go with an empty board i can teach whatever i want i can draw any graph then student will feel that you no know, okay my faculty knows the subject he is good in the subject so he is give random i used to ask their own graphs you give your own graph choose you no know, if i want to start here i ask them where i want to start many you no know, most of the faculty used to do this so why i am saying to use such a thing they will feel that okay they will come you know, towards you even in online every day we are able to get 20 to 30 students interacting with the faculty for using this modern day techniques uh, this tool is any tool okay but we know our own faculty or other faculty is across the place if you are going with the ppts fixed ppts without any writing pads then nobody is listen i'm sure one or two oh, maybe uh, they want to learn things there is no other way they will use that but the interest is less time being in our time more read the last two questions for sir pm yeah, ma'am in the chat two questions came ah uh, yes sir what device are you using for drawing now ah uh, it's only pen no sir ah yes pen i think if you want to show the video what should i do okay i'll 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 make you spotlight can you show it now ah, yes sir This the is pen. the pen, as I mentioned, comes so along with the drawing. along with the pad, writing pad. This 
this is you know very big <laughs> so my friends using small it's not because of the rate they want you no know, it should be handy for them but i personally believe my writing pad and my laptop is you know the same size then the matching will be you know it's same See, normally we used to write a suppose if i want to write a here in note 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 we are using the same font you know the same size we can use so that your you no know, uh, your hand will not feel anything you no know, bad something bad if you use a small size you, you might not know now but in future you feel because you need to write in a small instead of write this you would write like this this will you know coming and big there so that is the reason we are using and the advantage is this pen is a high pressure pen okay if we give a small pressure from your side it will feel that you know it's high and it's very smooth to write over i have used you know uh, hp as well as wacom the pens are very you know thin this is little big okay the size itself then you feel a you know, comfort i suggest wait for those who want to buy it will be more useful uh, that's you know i'm i'm using this pad and using this app wake app so with the help of that you know it's uh, sorry external app it is visible for you okay, this is the intermediator for that we have to install some driver that's it and this is one point sir you can move from the highlight please and other than that see one option is there no here what is this here and every time if you want a new page see this page is over if you press control d you can get another pages see second page is coming so one by one pages will run and this page if you want to change you can change and if you want to type text you can type text okay if you want to type something click this and you can type there are many things are there inside this one particular app it is fully free okay one can use this and uh, the drawing software is you know latex draw this is the last one latex draw it is free software there are many softwares available for drawing graphs for writing their papers as well as drawing their own graphs and pixie i think both are you know free the advantages of using both these is um, if you draw graph in that platform it's more like this for example it looks like this the screen or background of this data draw is looking like this so what people used to do they will put a vertex here and here here see for each point or a vertex we have a coordinates in this screen latex draw screen there is a right side there is a small window okay. there codes will come automatically okay so what we can do we can save this image as any format pdf jpeg or png or svg okay or eps or whatever formats are available everything you can save any format you can save and you can use other than that the additional advantage is here you have the code okay corresponding code you can copy this code and put it in the latex source file if you run the figure will come automatically and if you feel you know something this is you know suppose if this is on the top of the corner this is in the bottom you can adjust with the help of the code no need to draw the figure again and again no need to edit the figure it will come automatically okay, that is advantage okay. so that's it this is enough i think uh from the demo point this is okay yes uh, sir i have one question sir yes sir did anybody teach you sir or you learned self sir uh because in our nation everybody wants free 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 like did you learn on your own or you want for class this particular app the external app i learned no slowly so self learning can be done yeah sir uh, see everything is there in youtube <laughs> see i have so some query then i put it in youtube now how do you use this apps and in external then sir, what do with the people who are asking send me material how to download from youtube and tell me how to download from youtube <laughs> then you go on youtube how to download youtube then it will come 
the thing okay. is you know i what this you know two years back when the mm-hmm. lockdown announced you know in march uh, april may i bought it 2020 or uh, 20 may i bought this pad that time the faculty that i was working in a different college they used us why you are investing you know 7000 for writing things so that time this is not that much familiar writing pad then i said you know see i'm using this my students are giving feedback so my uh, rank is you now improved in the campus and next i went for you not know, giving talk in different institutes with the pptes okay there i used to write so we are basically on you know, max so we need to explain things if you go with only ppt no no how do i explain things with the help of this exana lab and this writing pad i earned more than 40 50000 during the lockdown <laughs> so the investment is 7000 i earned actually 50 plus so that's it see this is how one can justify and ultimately you know sir unmute yourself priya ma'am can you take questions yeah. sir you are on mute rajesh sir unmute yes 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 yeah. have any questions you may you may post them in the chat box or you may just unmute yourself and ask yes questions were most do, do we have any queries yeah good evening sir yes sir. this is this is sebastian from trichy i yes, need sir. one question sir uh, when you are using latex dry it gives a ps tick code or tick code sir so the, that that code is coming in the right yeah what type of code it gives uh, we got two types of code yeah. ps tick or tick you are no, the first one this uh, one minute sir i will tell you this pix code sir so it's a simple you can copy that and run in the you know window it will run automatically the normal source file we are typing you know the same format it will come yeah okay it gives only tick code but for us it's running sir whether it is working or not that you want it's not working for me that's why i'm asking when oh. i have compiled the uh, that file in pdf latex it's not comp- uh, it's not working Okay then. Oh, Ajay sir, can you type? Can you type your email in the chat? Okay. Uh, so that. Uh, okay, sir. sir I, yeah. I'll give my email. You can get from them, sir. Uh, I will send yeah, a source sir. file. Yeah. Okay, sir. To you, you please you know contact through that email. I will send up my personal file. A copy yeah, okay. from LaTeX. How it is working? I will send. Even for yeah. my thesis, I have used you no know, eighty-eight to ninety figures with the help of that one. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. It it will work. Yeah okay sir. Yeah ma'am can you type sir's email id? Or sir can you type yes. it? Yes. Raja dot v. Where it is sir? Yeah I'm I'm typing Raja dot v at v a t a p dot a c dot in. So you can contact through this email. Okay we are ready to help you at any time. And one more thing, I will tell you one thing. This is your duty to find. no for making ppt uh, no there are many people so those who are uh, preparing ppts in latex okay so what we normally do is we copy the pdf and we do editing for example x square is there then we put dollars and uh, some things we need to do right but there is a software there are many but there is a particular software okay, if you copy that and put it there it will give you the automatic latex code For example, you crop a page from a mathematics textbook and you put it in it and that software, that software will give you the detailed letter code corresponding to the page. Okay, so it is a paid software, but for academic people, per month, uh, 50 to 60 snapshots we can take. Okay, I don't want to mention the name of the software. Purposely, I'm saying, no. It is if you type this in Google. the second link is that okay it is your duty to find yourself for that somebody already put it in the chat yes then it is fine mm-hmm. dr joshi point. wants to know if there is any app to write on desktop or laptop easily other than magnetic tab for faculty uh, i mean for uh, mathematics faculty members um, see the ultimate is you need to use the digital pad okay without that writing you know where do we write That is second. No, can I, I, I can I answer, Doctor V Rajesh? Yes, sir. Yes. Apple, Mac, and iPad. 
if you can invest 1 lakh 40000 rupees they are giving one pencil pencil is 28000 rupees adalli enna vena pannala non la enna vena pannala paste a write pannala on that they have because or you can go to desktop or laptops which are hd touch screen nowadays with writing option yes now i i am using that now i need i just go with not even pen pen can write everything yes yeah. how much does but, it cost sir 70 plus I'm sorry how much does it cost minimum 85 to 90 starting to 1.1 to 2 3 3.45 sir but if it can buy a laptop this price is just 3700 i guess 3 3000 what i'm saying is all the teachers can become experts become international <laughs> online teachers you know easily you can get back the roi easy okay easy very easy yeah there are a lot of websites where teachers can go become expert teachers right we can get paid in dollars yes okay. and i'm I telling you first day i asked well, a question you can make 10 times your salary sitting in your home 10 times just by sitting but you need to have good gadgets good things subject knowledge and surely you can do it right so i'll tell you one thing sir for other faculties who are from ax uh, in poland there is a institute you know poland institute of uh, so shall we post the feedback link because it's well past time sure, sure, sure. okay, okay. yes sir, thank you yeah yes we will continue we will continue yes oh, one minute ma'am this i know i want to tell you uh, in poland uh, there is an institute okay it is in uh, ranking more than iit bombay and other other institutes if there you know there are students from you know all over india okay there you no know, if you want to know give teaching for them or coaching they will pay you okay so per class 2000 per hour 2000 okay they are ready to help you but the the syllabus content the basic course whatever courses we are having same course same syllabus same textbook but the questions you know unimaginable okay fundamental courses you any course if you are good in maths you can you know simply earn 30000 in a month or 20000 in a month so that i uh, anyway so if you want to know i will send the exact name of the institute for an institute of science and technology i think so it is you no know, high well, high ranked institute all the professors working who are you know they are scientists high level scientists it's you no know, such an institute you can you know and things from there students are ready to pay that's raja sir can participants make a note of this very good website called teachers pay teachers dot com teachers pay teachers dot com you can put your content you can get paid you can improvise others content it can get paid you see your ten dollars okay fifteen dollars ten dollars and you can keep it however you want okay people buy okay they, they, this is just a sample yes. uh, but there are so many which ways a faculty can take home ten times your salary all right and that is what we want to tell and priya ma'am you know to thank 300 people till 740 yes, is a sir. big achievement for satyabha ma'am yes uh, the participants have been so patient thank you everyone thank, thank you, you everyone and uh, we especially thank uh, dr raja for uh, um, uh, explaining all the uh, mathematical tools in detail and it was really a very useful session especially because most of us are from the department of mathematics so thank you very much sir thank and you, uh, thank you for accepting our invitation and thank you for being a part of this ftp for making it special thank you so much and uh, professor samuel johnson you too you've been uh, i mean i've been amazed at your passion your zeal your enthusiasm and for the interest that you have uh, in uh, uh, you know uh, in the in the reach that you want to uh, i mean uh, it's really amazing to see uh, Uh, especially you know that you've been part in uh, a parcel of this fdp throughout thank you so much sir and, Andre, uh, Andre. and <laughs> i also would like to mention a special thanks to all the participants for uh, patiently listening for your interaction and for your lively participation uh, we thank you so much for making this a success and uh, a special thanks i i should first thank god i guess for blessing